Welcome and thank you for tuning in to Selenium Grid Setup on Azure with Docker and Ubuntu. So, why run a tutorial on Selenium Grid, particularly using virtual machines in Azure? Well, I wanted to pass on my knowledge of using Selenium Grid over the years in enterprise settings where virtual machines become necessary due to scale and independence. And Azure is the ecosystem I am most familiar with. Also, I would have found it useful to have a video series like this when I started in the testing industry. Setting up a Selenium grid with a hub and multiple nodes on a separate VM on separate VMs lets you test faster, wider and more reliably than on a single machine. So why use Selenium grid? Parallel execution equals speed. So run many tests at once across machines to slash build times. True cross-browser coverage, spin up dedicated Chrome, Firefox, Edge on different nodes, validate real-world differences. Resource isolation, browser crashes or heavy tests on one VM don't starve others, it's stable and predictable. Scalability on demand, add or remove VMs to meet pipeline loads, align costs with usage. Fault tolerance, if a node dies, the grid keeps serving tests on other healthy nodes. How it works at a glance. So we run Selenium locally on your local laptop or on your desktop, then we use Remote Web Driver to contact the Selenium Grid Hub. Now the Hub BM is a single entry point on port 4444. This receives sessions, picks a matching node, routes commands via the event bus ports 4442 and 4443 nodes so you have firefox node and in this case here you also have the chrome node now the nodes register with the hub and they advertise their capabilities as in this example here you have chrome and firefox now each runs the actual browsers containers now when does this pay off to use vm the virtual machine distributed grid setup well for big test suites that you want to run in under 30 to 60 minutes somewhere where you need multiple browsers and multiple versions of each of those browsers. CI, CD at scale, feature branches, PR gates, nightly runs, and apps reachable only from a private network, such as banking or enterprise systems. What you'll learn. So you'll build, first of all, the Hub VM. We'll be using Docker and an Ubuntu virtual machine. We'll put the Selenium grid on that, and that's all on Azure. Then we'll install, sorry, I've doubled, doubled up here, essentially points one and point two I've just made. Point three, we'll build a Chrome VM with the Selenium node on Azure. Then in step four, we'll install Docker, Chrome and Selenium node on Chrome VM. Then we'll do the same for a Firefox VM. And then once we've done that, we will set up networking, the network security group rules so that your laptop or desktop, whatever you're using, can hit the hub on port 4444. Then I'll give you an overview in part eight of the Selenium test that we will use. And in part nine, we'll point the Selenium test to the grid using remote web driver and run and get our results back. Okay, look forward to seeing you in the next video.